what's up everyone welcome back to the security video in today's video i'm gonna talk about how to install kali linux on a macbook so if you have a new version of m1 uh, chip and or m2 chip you can uh, check this video and see how to install kali linux on your macbook pro or macbook air or any devices you're using so in today's video i'm gonna talk about that let's get into the video the first thing you need to do is to install uh, the virtual machine we are going to use this is totally free you don't have to pay anything for this virtual machine to work so let's go to here so this application called utm just go to google and search for it now click on the link this is the first one i'll put this link in the description below so you can go, just go there and see this uh, website now once you come here you can download from here or you can click on a mac app store which will download from uh, their store so for now i'm going to click on download here but first let me show you some uh, description some uh, features this has so windows linux meet apple silicon so you can use uh, utm for ARM64 based operating systems, you can emulate classic operating system as well, and virtualize macOS as well, and design for macOS. So those are the few features of UTM. This is similar to VirtualBox or any uh, other virtual machine applications we are using on Windows. So it's similar to that. And I'm gonna click on download now. So click allow and it will download here okay the application has been downloaded let's go to downloads folder now in here what you need to do is double click uh, this dmg file and it will show this um, setup which has macOS uh, drag and drop installation you can drag and drop this to application to install so I have already done that so I'm gonna click uh, stop here because I have already installed UTM in my machine I'm gonna close this window now after you install this UTM go to finder sorry uh, go to launchpad and you will be able to find your UTM now I have already used this UTM for create a virtual machine of windows for my windows tutorials and uh, let's install Kali Linux as well. So to do, that, uh, to do that, go to Safari and go to Kali Linux website. Let's search for Kali Linux. Then go to Kali Linux website. In here, go to download. Now make sure you are, you are downloading Bear, Bear Metal. So click on that then if you go scroll down you'll be able to see uh, three options we are going to use apple m1 because we are using apple m1 uh, but i think this uh, apple m1 is work for m2 as well as i research it but i haven't used it uh, because i don't have a Mac m2 macbook in my uh, uh, in my home so i'm using apple m1 so if, uh, if you want to show I will show my um, chip. This is Apple M1 MacBook Air. So let's install this. Once you come here, click on uh, download this button. It will download the file we need to install. It's like 2.2 GB, so it will take some time. I will come back later. As you can see, the Download has been finished. Kali, I have a file called Kali Linux 2022.2 installer ARM64 ISO file. Now go to UTM, then create a new virtual machine. So how to do that? Click on this uh, plus button or you can go to file and click new. Then click on virtualize. In here, make sure go to other and browse your image file. So I'm going to click browse and select the Kali Linux ISO file and click open then continue 
In here, you can specify the hardware allocations for this virtual machine. I am keeping this as default because I have a 8 GB RAM and it's uh, showing me 4 GB for the, this virtual machine. So I'm going to click uh, keep that and I'm going to continue. In here, you can specify the how many uh, GB you want uh, for the Kali Linux storage. So I'm going to put 32 here because I have only small uh, storage on my SSD so I'm gonna click I'm gonna put 32 here I think 32 is fine for Kali Linux so I'm gonna click continue in here you can share a directory with Mac and the Kali Linux let's browse and let's select documents so if you want to transfer file between Linux and Kali Linux, sorry, uh, Kali Linux and Mac OS, you can put those files into this document and the Kali Linux will be have that uh, folder in, in the uh, file section. So I'm going to click continue. You can see all the information here before saving. So I'm going to click save here. Now you need to do is to click on this play button. It will start up your Kali Linux. Let's minimize this. Okay, so there in here you can choose install or graphical installation. You can choose uh, between them, but I'm gonna use install because I use graphical install and it sometimes is not work correctly. So let's go to install and press enter. Uh, in here you can select the language I'm gonna click enter here United States enter which uh, keyboard layout you want American English I'm gonna press enter okay please enter your host name I'm gonna keep this name if you want to change it you can change it to any name you want I'm gonna click this this is the host name so it's like a computer name so click continue this is domain I don't have a domain so I'm gonna click continue full name for the new user I'm gonna type my uh, channel name tech theory and the username is tech theory then continue uh, choose a password for the new user I'm gonna press one two three four we enter the password one two three four okay time zone I'm gonna choose uh, Eastern for now and I'm gonna change it later from Kali Linux so we can you can change the language anything you want uh, after the installation that's up to you I'm gonna click enter now guided to use entire disk since we are using virtual machine you can use the entire disk so I'm gonna click enter and the virtual disk is showing in here I'm gonna click enter all files in one partition um, I'm gonna go I'm not gonna go through how to partition in uh, this uh, Kali Linux because I'm using all the uh, all the thing in one partition for this because it's a virtual machine so I'm gonna click enter uh, finish passing and write the changes to disk I'm gonna click enter and write these changes so it's showing me how, what changes i have uh, they are going to write so i'm going to click yes here you can choose um if options in your options from your keyboard you can use your arrow keys to choose options and press enter if uh, the option is selected so it's installing the base system now Okay, it's asking for which um, which desktop uh, environment you need to install. I'm gonna choose the first one. It's selected, uh, default selected. So I'm gonna click continue. Okay, as you can see, uh, installation has been completed. Click continue here. Okay, uh, let's see 
if it is installed correctly or not. Okay, so if you can see this um, uh, boot order again, what you need to do is exit out, click OK. Now go to UTM. Then right click on this uh, virtual machine, go to edit. In here, you can see the USB drive is in the top. You need to, ver uh, you need to drag and drop this virtual IO to top. So it will be um, get, get first. The first drive will be virtual IO. And then click save. Now click. Uh, play button in here as you can see car linux has been booting up now click continue okay in here it's asking for your username password you have given in the setup wizard so let's type check theory and one two three four password press enter logged in okay so as you can see Kalinux has been installed correctly you can go to file systems and you can find all the information here so it's worked correctly if you maximize this it will go to full screen and you can do a bunch of stuff so that's how you install Kyle Linux ARM version on your uh, Mac OS uh, operating system. So we are using UTM for all these uh, virtual machines. Uh, you can use for Windows as well or any other Linux you want to install. Um, and that's it for today's video. I hope this video helpful for you to find out how to install Kyle Linux on a M1 MacBook uh, chip. So if that's your, uh, if that's the case, you found any uh, help from this video, please subscribe to this channel and like this video and share with any of your friends to show them how to do it as well. And see you next time with another video like this. Bye bye.